Right, we are back. We are actually going to go into this stage. I was going to start it in the previous episode, but I don't want to make the video too long. Right, okay, we're going to beat that helicopter guy down. Oh, <laughs> I can't even restart. Right, um, for some reason it doesn't let me move the camera around in certain parts. Right, no, oh, no, no. Right, I'm going to have to start that again. Yeah. Right, I'm probably going to have to edit some of that out. Right, let's start again. Right, let's go up here. Right, there's a question mark icon over there. All it really says is, oh, just press this button to do re uh, like speed dash. So it's like, wow. It's like, yeah, I already knew that like two hours ago. Because <laughs> uh, like, I could have really told me that a lot earlier. Now we're back to where we are. Right, this time, let's not actually fall down. Right, I don't know how many bot keys I'm going to get this time. Right, so we got another one at least. I have to be so careful because if you press jump three times in a row you'll like home attack and don't want to do that. Go right into death again. Alright. Let's do that. That's quite good. Oh there's another one up there. Yeah there we go. <laughs> now we're doing better. We're doing a million times better this time. I don't fall off. I don't think I will. A little bit like an enemy coming down. Yeah it's a tank enemy. <laughs> that tank is really slow. You got even uh throw any bombs up at me or anything. Alright, uh, beat that guy up. I don't know if you get any points for beating them up. I didn't need to get them out of the way. But I don't see a scoreboard anywhere. Oh, missed that <laughs> for a second. Alright, beat that thing up. There's a helicopter guy up there. He's, he's not even shooting me. <laughs> this is a little bit easy after you get through that one little segment <laughs> at the beginning where you can fall off quite easily. Oh, that so astonishing when you see that part. Uh, what was it called? City Escape. <laughs> That's totally City Escape as well. That keeps the slip off the pole thing. Right. I think I might have missed one of the stars out. Uh, looking around. I will say that the road does look quite realistic. <laughs> and this game's also on Nintendo Switch, and I think the graphics are exactly the same. So I don't want to risk that. I'm not going for that. That's too risky. I look at the first one right there, so at least it's all five of them that I don't die. Alright, let's go through here. There we go. We've done it. Yeah, it took me two tries, but hey. <laughs> at least I've actually done it. I thought I was, I was going to need a third try. <laughs> this got, whoa, I have three vault keys. Oh, that's actually pretty good, that. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, I do know one little thing. Oh, parry. I've not used that much. Right, there we go. If you do all four missions in the same uh, portal zone, you actually uh, you get some bonus vault keys as well. I didn't know that until I just got all four of them on one stage. So I thought, ooh, so it's good to actually do all four of them. Now getting S rank on some of these stages is really tight, especially the one in the very first one. I'm going to save that one for later. Let's grab these keys. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Super Mario 64 when you get one of the keys off Bowser. <laughs> yeah. Right, um, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not missing anything. I don't think I'm missing anything. Nah, I, th I think we could just get going now. Right, um, I'm just trying to make sure because it takes ages trying to look for one cocoa or one uh, blue seed or red seed or something. Um, the problem is that if you stand still too much, the other cocos come along and it's one that you've already picked off. Uh, let's go up here. I don't think I've ever been up here. What, what is this area? <laughs> what is this? I don't remember seeing this. <laughs> what is this? Tears of the Kingdom. Oh no. Uh, oh, I just got hit. I thought that was a safe platform. I lost... Wow, I didn't lose that many rings, but okay. I still lost a bunch of them. Uh, I think the higher your defense is, the more, um, the less rings you lose. What are you actually supposed to do here? Oh no, I just got hurt again. Did no rings fly on me? No, I'm still not doing the five for some reason. What am I actually supposed to do here? This is the first time, by the way. I didn't even go up here the first time in my off screen play. Uh, let's do it. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so we have to climb up to the right, then up for some reason. It doesn't let us climb up that little block thing there, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. It looks to me I need to solve some type of puzzle as I make my way up. 
you know, they really should give some hints out, like, oh, press this switch here, it's like, but I don't see a switch. Right. Uh, it looks a little dark in some places, but it's a bit hard to see where it's like, oh, oh, I got hit again, and I think I, nah, <laughs> just died. <sighs> right. I don't think I have a number of lives in this game, I think you just restart back at the last checkpoint, so at least I don't have to get all those both keys again, so at least it saves that path. Uh, right, let's try again. If I can't figure out what to do here, I'll just get on with it. Because I don't think anyone's going to want to see me get stuck for half an hour, so I'll just uh, go over here. Right, so I'm doing a little bit better now. It looks like I need to go down once, so I need to drop down a bit. Because I've searched around this top path, but nothing seems to be up here. Like, no blue seeds, no red seeds, no heart tokens, nothing! There doesn't seem to be anything up here. I'm going to drop down a little bit. Alright, let's go down here. There's a few more safe blocks there. Right. Oh, that, that seemed more... Oh, so there's a switch there. Okay. Wait, wait, that's it? Just a few rings? No blue seed? No red seed? Nothing? Oh no, am I going to fall down again? Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh. Ugh. Hit this so much. This is why I don't like doing it blind. Because like you come across like a new area and you have no idea what you're doing. Right. Uh, right, we'll try it one more time. We'll try one more time. If, it, if, if this doesn't... Um, I can't solve anything. I'm just going to get on with it. I've not even been able, been able to find anything. Not even one cocoa. Because they usually be in groups of three, four or fives. But there's just nothing here. There's like one little switch that just reveals some rings which you can just get somewhere else. I mean, rings are everywhere anyway, so that 40 rings, whoa, that's so worth going through like a dangerous area where you can die quite easily. I could just side loop the ground and just get like 10 each time. Right, let's all get some stuff over here. Oh, what's this? Oh, another 10 more, 40 more even. Is that it? It's just some rings. Oh, this is quite a letdown, but <laughs> this is the first time I've actually gone through this part. Right. <laughs> that, that's it. Uh, okay, so we have to do something up there. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, let's make our way up. Right, so there's only like 80 rings here. That's it. Am I supposed to get on that block on the left? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Right. Will it move up if I go on there? I'm not, I don't even know what's going on. Might have to, um, oh, I got hit again. Right, am I going to get hit again by I stand here? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. It, it, the spikes are camouflaging a lot, so it's a bit hard to see what's going on there. Right, I don't think there's really anything else. I might have to come back here later when I actually have more knowledge what to do there. <laughs> right. I have no idea what to do, let's just go. I'm just wasting too much time. All, of us, all I found was like 80 rings and that's it. Oh, what's on here? <laughs> right, that was quite a uh, vague area. I have no idea what I was supposed to do there. Oh, there's something over there. I definitely need to go over there. Right, let's have a look. Uh, I hope I can make that. I don't think I can. Oh, I actually can. <laughs> That was so lucky, I thought I was going to fall off and lose like three lives instead of two, but it looks like you don't have lives in this game, you just go back to the last checkpoint. Mm. Right, let's search through this area again, because I only did part of it last time. Right, and there's a few cocos here and there anyway. Right. There's an enemy to the left of me and there's on the right of me, so I have to be careful. Yeah, just do that. And there's a heart token we can miss. Oh well. Right. And there's a power seed that I'm missing out on as well. Even if I home attack that thing, those things. Oh, it's another star. Well, he's going to be so easy. Even if I attack them head on, I think I would have fell off and died. Because I already lost two lives. So I don't want to uh, uh, use more for the boot. Neither got hit. <coughs> Yeah, let's try side leaping. Does that do anything? Oh, it does! 
start to welcome it. Right. I feel that. That was still the best technique in the game so far. Unless that's a really even more powerful one later on because I'm not fully played it. <laughs> this is all of my favourite technique. Keeps it on hand the way it like, hits like a great train. Yeah, it does like two, two or three damage, but it racks up a lot. But the DPS is actually quite high. I think I just I can just hit attack him head on. Alright, keep him up and stomp on him. And I've got Phantom Rush enabled. <laughs> that flash that in the world as well. Alright, there, he was well easy. I think his HP was the exact same amount as he was the first time, so it's definitely easy the first time. It's definitely harder the first time even. So a spring appears. Yay! <laughs> Wonder where that leads us to. I have uh I think I know where this leads us to. Oh, I think it leaves us up there. Oh, that's actually good. Alright. Uh, yeah, this actually seems much better. Much better area. It's actually a lot more... Um, you actually know what you're doing, basically. And like that other area with all them spikes. Oh, no, I have to be careful here. <laughs> like, go, go fast, 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 and then fall off. <laughs> Alright, I think we're going to have to climb rightwards slowly. We're going to have to take some lessons of knuckles. I'd imagine that if I played as Knuckles here, it'd be so much faster and easier. <laughs> Alright. I don't want to risk home attacking just in case I fall off. So I have to take my time there and not, you know Right. This is just me where our object is like clipping into it. Alright. <laughs> I think I can run up that one more problem. Ooh. It won't fall off. Right, what's up here? Oh, lots of enemies! Yeah, they're all going to be missing. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. They're all just dying. <laughs> I don't know if it sounds when they die. Like they do a sweet of rage and they're like, Ugh, and stuff like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> it is winter time in reality, hence why I'm starting to cough a little bit. I bought like these um, cough sweets called Soothers. And they do help a bit, but as soon as I finish, like, consuming one of them. I just only start coughing again after like 20 minutes, so I do apologise if my commentary is not that great. Nearly <laughs> fell off. Right, let's just uh, go this way. <laughs> I think we're doing better now. Uh, let's just take our time a bit. Uh, yeah, let's go that way. I don't want to go on that. Right, get moving. Right, There's another one. Let's go up here. This is like, it's a lot more um, simple and straightforward how you get through here. Oh, there's a Chaos Emerald here. Oh, I think I'm too early to get that. Let's get all the goodies here. Look, there's some cocos here. This is so much better than that other area from like a few minutes ago. Like, <laughs> look, there's actual cocos here and everything. There was like nothing in that other area other than like 80 rings. <laughs> I don't think I fully solved that area, so I might have to figure out do there later. Right, let's get this one. Bring that one back on. If you've been a naughty boy, go back to your elder. Right. I'm surprised that uh, the hermit doesn't even tell him off for going missing for so long. <laughs> In reality, I remember seeing this old man get so angry at his own grandson, and it's where he was like going, "You're going straight to bed." <laughs> and when he actually found him, I was like thinking, "What did he do wrong?" I'm guessing that what you did was like you got separated from the others. I don't, I don't know. This is just one of those conversations that you just see and you're outside. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised the hermits in this game don't even tell the kids off, you know, the cocos, off for um, going missing for so long. <laughs> oh, it's that squid thing. Right. Oh wow. Am I in. Um, yeah, I've got 200 now. Why is it not doing that uh, storm animation thing? Uh, oh no. Oh, I thought I was an enemy there. Oh, now it's doing it. So you have to touch the ground before this happens. <laughs> right. Um, oh, is that an enemy? Yeah, that's an enemy there. That's a cheap one. This is well easy. I think I've got enough skill points to actually learn a new technique now. Right. Mm. right. How do I go into the skill menu again? Oh, there we go. Right. Which one should I learn? Quick side loop. Press Y during a combo. I don't know if I want that or not. But it costs 20 anyway, so I don't think I can actually get that one yet. Right. Uh, 
Oh, it's Wild Rush. Oh, that's the one that wants me to learn. Eh, I guess I can learn it. I mean, why not? Eh. By the way, I don't use this attack much. It's just basically dart to the left or the right and then press X. I just prefer using the other attack. You know, the Sonic Doom attack. The long range attack that's so overpowered. Uh, I don't think I'm doing it right. I think I'm supposed to dart to the left. Right, uh, what was it? What was it? Oh, there we go. So yeah, I, oh my word, I'm playing this like a noob. <laughs> there, there, that's a lot better. Once you do it the second time onwards, it's a lot easier to uh, learn. Well, not learn, but activate it. <laughs> Other people also call this procking. Right, okay. <laughs> now that we're back. I'm in a slightly different location this time around, but it's fine because um, I haven't actually fully searched this area. Beat it up the tower thing that was just there, the spring appeared, and then it launched me up high up in the air and let me go to like two other areas. <laughs> but anyway, let's get moving. Now we have to take our time here, unfortunately. So now that we can't go too quick, otherwise we'll fall off. Right. It is night time, so I'm surprised there's no night creatures around in this game like there is in um, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom and um, Legend of Zelda are in a time because of those <laughs> goofy looking skeletons that come out the ground and they're really easy. Alright, uh, oh I've not even been down here. Oh purple coins. We definitely need those for Big the Cat later on. Um, Okay, he comes into the um, end path of this island, but I think it's an optional character to come across. Because <laughs> he's done like this one portal area. And I think, I don't think you have to actually go there, because I've already got like five Chaos Emeralds and I've not even come across them yet. <laughs> Still. So let's go down here. Alright. Uh, well. I think that's it for this little bit. I don't want to risk falling off. So it takes like a minute to backtrack to where I need to go to. Uh, let's uh... Oh, oh it doesn't even... It just lets me shoot me back over in case I fall off. Right. Oh, there was a coca there. I didn't even see that. <laughs> right, what's down here? Oh, okay, okay, so there is something up here. How did I not get hurt by going through that? <laughs> is there no collision on that thing? Did I just activate a glitch? I'm, I'm not sure what happened. Right, um, let's just uh, see if there's anything down there. I don't think there is, I think there's just rings that I don't need at the moment. Oh, so that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> okay, um, it looks to me that there's something down there at the bottom of that center area. It looks like there's something down there. I don't think I've even been down there the first time around. Oh, there is something here. Okay. Right, let's just beat that thing up. It's really easy. <laughs> Thanks for the skill points. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Right. <coughs> let's see uh, if we get that. Oh, it's a portal here. So we can activate the next you know, stage. I don't know if there's any more stages. I think there's just one. One more to unlock. Alright, uh, let's pick up these cocos. A bit dark around here. Let's, um, oh, there's one there as well. Any more? Uh, I don't see any more. Oh, there's one there. Okay, never mind. Uh, so there's a power seed here. Some skill points. Uh, I'm so happy I actually came across here. Because it's like, it's like, oh. There's a lot of nice goodies down here, and it's actually quite a safe platform so you're not falling off and there's not like a million spikes like there was earlier on. Alright. Let's see. How do I get out? Oh, there. That's, that's how I get out. That's how I get out. There we go. Alright, there. There, all better. I think we've done this little area. I think I might miss one small thing, that's it. Still don't know how to figure out that other part of all the spikes which you have to fight blocks and stuff earlier on. No idea what you're supposed to do there. Right. Uh, oh, there's a Coco here. Two of them. Oh wow, I didn't even see them earlier on. Right, let's go. 
Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything. I'm just trying to check because there might be like another little hidden area here and there. Right. Some of them are very, very um, cleverly hidden. Right, let's get that. What's in here? Oh, lots of tokens. Okay. That's a lot of them. I've got 107 of them. <laughs> Too bad they don't, they're not, you can't use them for any one at the island one as far as I know. I don't think, I think they might be for someone else later on, I'm not sure. Right. Uh, keep going. Oh, what does that spring lead us to? I'm not even sure. Oh, these are still here, okay. I think I've done that part. Right. Uh, there's a few of these uh, challenges which you have to do at night, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if there's if I missed any. I think I missed like one or two. There's one right at the beginning somewhere. Oh, I've done that one already. Right. Let's uh, just speed our way through here a little bit. Because at least this area is like quite safe. There's a lot of grass around here. There's no spikes around here, so we can just safely move our boost up. <laughs> hmm. Apparently people say, or oh, oh, rapidly press it, it's actually better, but I don't think it helps much. Right. Oh well. We beat that thing up. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easiest enemy in the game. Unless you don't have Sonic Boom. Right, let's go on with the story like finally. I think I've been going for about 20 minutes, still haven't come across any more cutscenes yet, so we'll just get on with the story a little bit. Right, what actually happens here? I can't remember. So, something's been bugging me about these ruins. Hmm. The whole reason we came was because Tails detected the Chaos Emeralds were drawn here, right? And now I'm finding digital keys and confinement towers that seem custom made to hold the emeralds like half this stuff was built with them in mind maybe the ancients used the chaos emeralds in the past we've learned of other past civilizations who did too yeah but those groups tried to use them and the stuff here seems all about containment maybe they knew something about their power that we don't the chaos emeralds are still pretty mysterious even after all we've done with them hmm yeah, I don't think I came across that cutscene the first time. <laughs> that is actually a good point, but we'll just get this juicy emerald anyway. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if there's uh, hyper emeralds in this game, because I know that there's hypersonics and supersonics in Hypersonics are actually better. <laughs> um, because you cannot drown. That's hypersonic. You can actually breathe underwater. Right. Oh, so we have to go talk to her again. That's the next area that we can talk to her in. Uh, we'll try doing this, I mean why not. I'm probably going to get like C rank at most. <laughs> what to be fair about this? I, I can never get above C rank for some reason. Alright. Let's just get the ones that's in the ground. The thing, the thing with these, uh, these challenges is that the yellow spear ones, <laughs> I seem to get really bad range, I don't know why. Yeah, it's better to hold it down because the combo can go up quicker when you do that. If you do it like that, it, it goes up slower. So I don't think that's a really good idea. Keep uh, going. Oh, I don't want to go on that. Right, we'll just have to ignore the other one. Keep going. We have to keep our team up as much as we can. Right, get those. We've all got a heart token on the way, so at least that's something. <laughs> Oh, I'm on C rank now. Okay, we're not doing too badly. So at least I got higher than D rank for once. Oh, I don't like that area. I'm gonna fall off somewhere. Alright. Okay, so I got C rank. That's not too bad. But I didn't really get anything. Ah, okay, that was okay, but I didn't really get anything. Alright, let's make a save. Right, I keep nearly forgetting which spell slots which. Two and a half hours, huh? That's not that much. Right, um, let's figure out which areas we need to go to. Oh, we can go to the Elder Coco now, or Hermit Coco, the two different ones. Right, let's head over here. I love the, the marker thing, I think that's very, very helpful. Not very far away. Oh no, these guys are actually in the way. 
Oh my god, the audio is just jump up in the air to do that. <laughs> it used to take like a minute to beat up before, and now it's like, oh look, power seed, I can use that as well. Alright, let's go talk to him. Huh. There. Let's uh, upgrade ourselves. Alright. Okay, so our power's gone up a bit and our defense has gone up a chunk. So, <laughs> right. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do. Right, okay. Um, where do I need to go next? I love how my defense is like the highest off the four stats. <laughs> it's like, so my defense is really good, but my. But my ring capacity is like level 1. Oh, that's a nighttime one. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do there. I guess I could hang around and then let it be nighttime naturally. There's no sun song in this game. Well, nothing like that anyway. Right, did I touch the doors here before? I can't remember. Yeah, I've definitely done that. You can see a tick right there. Right, I love all the seahorses like hanging around us, not really giving us hints. It's like, give me a hint. How do I solve that nighttime puzzle there? Eh? Right. Oh, there's, uh, there's something there. Oh, it's just over there, so I can go get it. That's good. Right. Oh. Kind of got a bit lost there. Oh, there's some cockroaches here. I didn't even get them last time. Good job I did come here then. <laughs> yeah. Alright. By the way, this video is going to be like half an hour long. time around because uh, one of my episodes, earlier episodes was like um, 17 minutes long or 16 minutes long. Something like that. It was not very day. Right, I'm going to show you what happens if you beat this enemy up really wrong. I'm going to do this on purpose, right? If you use the wrong attack, this happens. Even though the call Sonic, the fastest thing alive, this enemy can just hit you no matter where you go. And you lose all your rings regardless of how high your defense is. So always use Silo for that guy. If you use anything else like Sonic Boom or Home Attack, it just blows up on you like that. I did that on purpose, by the way. So... But don't worry, I'm, I already have 400 rings, I couldn't pick up any more anyway, so it's okay to get hit outside. And look at that, Squid. He's going to take ages for me to beat up. Well, ho well, I just leveled myself up, so maybe I can actually beat him up a bit quicker. Right, let me get up. Right, there we go. Right, we're going to have to dart left and right. Uh, at least my stamina is quite high, so at least I can just beat him up. What's catch up to him? Oh, I'm actually starting to catch up to him quite a lot despite I don't even have one of the wings yet. Right, we're gonna have to adapt to the, yeah, dart to the right. Sometimes I go right into him. Oh, I'm really tall. Okay. okay. <laughs> Alright, let's do the stomp attack. That's the best attack to do them in. Right, do it again. Right, and let's do it a third time. Oh, that shield. Uh, it, that shield barely did anything. <laughs> oh, wow. It was definitely easier this time. I think last time I beat him up like so much earlier. Right, okay. Is it just me or did I just see another one? I'm not sure. Yeah, there's another one over there. <laughs> oh, well, at least I showcased how to beat him up really easily, but I am a little bit over leveled now. It pays to um, level up in this game. There we go. Now we can go uh, meet up with these two. Right, can't remember what happens here. Right. Something wrong? They say their amore was stationed on the far side of the field. This is the field. I'm not seeing a lot of farming going on. Maybe. If you use that new technique of yours, you can clean up all this wild brush. I'll save this for next time. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to actually show your support, you may tick like, share, or subscribe to my channel. You can even do all three of them if you want to. So yeah, and with that, I'll end up the video. So thanks you for watching.